Are you ready? Clearly. Are you ready for some good news? First up this week, for the first time, astronomers have detected gravitational waves and visible light emanating from the collision of two neutron stars. The merging of two neutron stars is called a kilonova, a name derived from the fact that light from these events is approximately a thousand times brighter than that released by a standard nova. This kilonova, designated GW170817, emitted a 100-second gravitational wave signal, the first gravitational waves detected not related to black holes. The kilonova also emitted a gamma ray burst and visible light, the first visible light detected from such an event. Kilonova GW170817 was the result of the merging of two neutron stars, each between one and two times the mass of our Sun, located in galaxy NGC 4993, about 130 million light years away. It was detected by the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory here in the US and by the Virgo detector in Italy. Not only is this event significant for the gravitational wave and visible light observations, it also confirms the long-held theory that events like this are responsible for creating heavy elements. Analysis of the light emitted by the kilonova confirms the presence of heavy elements such as gold, platinum, and uranium. A series of eight papers based on these observations will soon be published in the journals Nature, Science, and the Astrophysical Journal. Next up, the future of forecasting complex natural phenomena could rest on the development of quantum simulators. Quantum simulators are simpler versions of quantum computers. Like quantum computers, quantum simulators would process information using quantum bits or qubits. Unlike classical bits, which are always in one of two possible states, zero or one, qubits can exist in both states simultaneously. Quantum simulators can't perform complex calculations, but they can be used to model specific processes, or they could be, if we can figure out how to build one. Physicists at the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology have created a component of a quantum simulator capable of mimicking the interaction between light and matter as occurs during photosynthesis. In the simulator, superconducting circuits represent atoms, while electromagnetic resonators represent light. The physicists hope to build up from this simple starting point until they have a quantum simulator capable of creating an accurate model of photosynthesis, which will enable them to better study and understand this fundamental biological phenomenon. The paper on the development of this building block of a quantum simulator is published in the journal Nature Communications. And finally, a new study shows evidence that a specially designed touchscreen app can help to reduce racial bias in children. The study was co-authored by researchers at the University of Toronto's Ontario Institute for Studies in Education and a team of researchers in China. Children in China between the ages of four and six played with a touchscreen app that taught them to recognize and distinguish the faces of individual black people. The children were tested to measure their implicit anti-black bias before and after the sessions with the app. It was found that playing with the app produced a measurable reduction in implicit bias. The key findings of the study, according to the authors, are first, intervention to counteract implicit racial biases can be effective when done in early childhood before such biases have taken root, and second, teaching children to identify individuals is more effective than lessons that utilize generic representatives of a given racial group. This study was conducted using a test group of 95 Chinese children. The researchers are currently conducting a follow-up study using a larger, more diverse group of children in Toronto. They hope to eventually develop their app into something that can be used in schools and at home to counteract the implicit racial biases instilled in children by our culture. The study is published in the journal Child Development. So, 
What have we learned this week? Well, astronomers make the first gravitational wave and visible light observations of a kilonova. Physicists build the first component of a quantum simulator and a touchscreen app holds the potential to reduce implicit racial bias in children. That's the good news. Just a reminder, this curled up gigantic woolly bear here is my cat. Anyway, thank you folks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also please consider helping us to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. See you next time.